Hey, okay, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to go to um, the library's website and how to search the catalog as you're working on your research paper. As you can see, I'm sitting in my kitchen. The great thing about the library website is that you can do um, most of your research from home. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is point my browser to the college's website. Here we go. Ori Georgetown Technical College. Over here in the right hand corner, um, you, you'll see this drop down menu. It says Quick Links. Uh, so select that and scroll all the way down to library. <clears throat> okay, so here is the library's main page. And uh, you'll notice this navigation bar up here at the top. We have the library catalog, um, a section for databases and articles. Um, this tab right here goes to library guides with helpful tips and tools and um, you know handouts. And then citation tools, so you can go here for help if you're looking to, you know, work on your works cited page or in-text citations. Um, so the catalog is going to search the um, the physical print materials and often electronic materials that are housed in, in the library. Um, and so the first thing that I always do is go to advanced search. Um, why use the advanced search feature um, while this is loading? Uh, it, first, it gives you a number of um, search fields and you can refine your search so that you're not sifting through you know hundreds maybe thousands of resources but you can continually narrow things down until you start seeing the the searches that you want but it's there so I'm thinking about what I would like to write for a research paper and I have an exploratory draft and I'm a pet lover uh, you can't see her but I have a huge cat sitting right over there um, <clears throat> and so I want to write something about animals and from my exploratory draft I'm interested in the idea of um, therapeutic animals and people that use animals uh, for therapy so I'm gonna first search the um, Ori Georgetown Technical College libraries so this is gonna search the libraries on all campuses um, and I'm gonna enter in two keywords and the first will be um, animal and um, therapy, okay? And I can, you know, filter by language type, um, you know, yeah, I want a book. So let's, let's look for, for full-length books. Um, scholarly books are usually the best place to start because they're the most in-depth. Um, and location uh, doesn't really matter right now. So um, click search, and here are my results. Okay, the lost dogs, Michael Vick's dogs, and their tale of rescue and redemption. Um, <clears throat> sounds interesting, but not really what I'm looking for. Peterson scholarships, grants, and prizes, 2009. Don't really understand how that came up. Um, alternative therapies and nursing. They might have something in there about uh, you know animals. You can usually click here to look at contents, um, and it will give you uh, a breakdown. Uh, you know, click a look inside, you get a summary. But, you know, that doesn't really seem to be what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go back, previous. Um, let's go to a new search. Back to the advanced search. And we're going to enter in um, <clears throat> uh, a, a keyword that's a phrase. Um, we can also, you know, begin by changing uh, our keywords, right? So I used animal before. Well, what happens if I use pet? Maybe pet's a better word because it implies that sort of um, relationship between human and their, their animal. So um, I'll search for pet and therapy as keywords in the college's libraries. And, oh no, there's no matches found in the library you search. Now I'm starting to get stressed out, right? I feel like there's no topics. Um, so I will go back again to a new search. Um, and this is really a process of trial and error. So um, what you're going to do here is uh, I'm going to search for them as a phrase. So pet therapy. And the quotation marks that I've added here allow me to search for these words appearing together. 
So the other searches when I had it as pet and therapy was looking for, you know, maybe pet is listed in this one chapter and therapy is in this other chapter. Um, but I want to see them together as a, you know, as a phrase. So we'll enter it in quotation marks uh, and search. And again, no results. Now I'm really fretting. There's no books that, that we have. Um, well, you're, if you've started early, you're still in luck because you can click here, search all libraries. Okay. So what this has done is it's really searched the network of libraries that our library belongs to. So we have Tri-County Technical College Library, Spartanburg Community College, um, an electronic resource, um, GTC Northwest Campus. Uh, and so these are the catalogs of neighboring libraries. So natural remedies for cats and dogs, no. Um, alternative therapies for epilepsy, that's very specific, but it might be helpful. Um, here we go, the healing power of pets, harnessing the amazing ability of pets to make and keep people happy and healthy. This sounds like a great source because uh, it's general and it's it's book. Um, it was you know published in 2002, so it's fairly current and I'm going to click on details um, and so here we have um, the details I can take a look inside I can read the summary and say yes this sounds good I can look at the table of contents and the, there's all these specific chapters so if I decide that I even want to refine my paper even more and deal just with companion pets and seniors you know here's an entire chapter on that so this looks great but it's not in our library um, so what do I do? I go over to, um, first I'm going to copy the title, and over here you see Pascal Delivers, um, and this is how you can get this book delivered right to your campus that you want. And so I copied that title, I'm just going to paste it right here and I selected title I'm going to submit and so this is searching the network of libraries for for the schools that have this book and so here it is um, and I would just click place request and then what institution am I affiliated with well there's Ori Georgetown um, and now I type in my name um, and then my H number which is um, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be on the bottom of your um, student ID card, and it's age and you know a number of numbers. And then you know I want to pick it up here, and you know I'm at Conway, so I pick it up there and I click submit. And it really only takes a couple of days. Um, so if you, it's best to start early and get these books on their way to you, um, and then you can you know decide whether or not you want to use them or send them back. So that's that's really how you can. Um, request books from other libraries. The only other thing that I was going to show you is when you do stumble across that one source, that book, that it sounds like it's perfect, but you, you want more sources. What you can do um, is actually, uh, you know, here's the item information. Go to the catalog record, okay? And as your textbook, you know, we're in Chapter 28, talked about Library of Congress um, headings. That's right here, these things down here. The subject terms and so these are how they're categorized in terms of uh, library congress headings and so if you click on one of these what it's going to do is pull up all of the books that are associated with this subject term so I want pets therapeutic use that's the most specific to my topic um, and so if I click on that um, here are all of the books so while that first search that I that I that really was helpful had some sources that were good. This has, looks like it has great resources because they all have that Library of Congress um, subject term with them. Uh, so this is really the, the first uh, step in conducting research. I like to look at books because they're the most in-depth um, and hopefully you can find a book out there to help you. My next video will talk a little bit about databases periodicals and scholarly articles. So uh, good luck.